Lately I've been doing a lot of sketching and one of the problems I have is a bad back. So when I hunch over for hours at a time, I end up regretting it. I decided a good project to work on would be a desktop easel and the idea is it's basically just a box, but when you open it up, you can lock it in place and use this top part to actually draw on at an angle so that'll save my back and the box can store sketchbooks and pencils and things like that. I decided to make it out of MDF, which I'm not a big fan of, but it will stay flat forever, and a wood called Granadillo. Uh, this ended up polishing up really, really nicely, so I'm a big fan of that wood. I finally realized I didn't have enough wood for both the top and bottom, so I decided to cut each piece in half. Which also meant cutting the finger joints a little bit shorter. A flush trim bit on the router quickly took care of the little bit of difference due to having to cut those fingers short. To connect the two pieces that would lock the top in place when it was open, I decided to use a very simple tenon.
I managed to split the wood while chiseling, but I went ahead and measured things and made sure it was good because I could just use CA glue to join it back together. Since I had to cut each of the side pieces in half, that meant that the screws for the hinges actually went all the way through, so I had to use some scraps to hide that mistake. When I first started the project, I thought I could drill partway into the walls to just stick a dowel through and use that as a pivot point. But since I had to cut each of the walls in half, that meant that I didn't really have enough room to do that. So I looked through the scraps that I had because I was really down to the last bits and I glued them together. I thought of this plan where I could use a plug cutter and not quite go far enough that it actually pulled the plug out, but would kind of leave it sticking up, almost like a dowel embedded in the wood. So I tried that with some scrap and it worked perfectly. So I used this Granadillo that I still had and I was trying to be really careful, but uh, several of them broke off and the plugs came up. Not surprising since that's what the tool's supposed to do, but eventually being careful enough slow, I was able to actually get to this stuff. Here you can kind of see my bad idea. Uh, this would have been the pivot point, but as I tried to tighten it in, it broke and I started to realize this was a lot more fragile than I thought. So I popped it off and just decided to go with dowels. Fortunately, I did have those accidental plugs from before that I could put to use.
After I had finished everything with boiled linseed oil, I finally realized that I had glued this support piece to the top and it should have been glued to the bottom because it's meant to support the bottom of the sketchbook while I'm working on it. Somehow I managed to actually break the head off one of the screws, so I had to use some CA glue and get that tiny thing back into place. Thanks for sticking with me through the end of this. I know I was making a lot of mistakes. Uh, they largely came down to the two problems I always have. Uh, the first is I get too excited to start, so I don't really plan things through. And the second is that um, a deadline was coming, so I was rushing. Uh, in this case, I'm traveling for the holidays and I wanted to get this done with enough time to edit it first. Uh, so I was rushing things and not really thinking it through and making stupid mistakes. but. Uh, the nice thing is this shows even when you do make lots of mistakes in the project, you can still end up with a nice thing at the end. Um, I am happy with the way this turned out. Um, the Granadillo wood is just beautiful. Um, if I were to do this again, I would probably make the full box out of that um, top and bottom as one big box and then just cut it in half to get the two halves. Uh, that makes things line up a lot better and kind of simplifies some of it. 